Hello and welcome to OHS Computer Safety in the Workplace Environment. Just a few moments we'll take a look inside the Office of the Future with all the RAM, ROM and other miscellaneous tools that you'll be using in the office for the years to come. You'll learn useful terms such as floppy disk and DOS or disk operating system. But don't get too worried about all that as we'll only scratch the surface as this program is primarily concerned with safety issues. Now come, let's go inside. Hello, you must be the proprietor of this forward-thinking enterprise. Why, yes, I am Stanley Tibbet, and I'll be joining you today on this quest of safety in the office. Please, won't you join me as I show you around? Since the dawn of business, man has been looking for the perfect tool to help him run a company, from early caveman to the quill and parchment through to the modern pen and paper. All these had their drawbacks, and these have caused their own storage problems and now all this is coming to an end. From all this, the latest new tool to help fight the paper war. Behold, the computer. Hmm, did you notice anything wrong during that footage of Mr. Tibbet? Let's look again. The wrists and forearms are at an angle, downwards and to the side, both of which cause tendons in the wrist to rub. Placing your keyboard at an angle to the edge of the desk encourages a bad posture. Either the wrists are bent sideways or the spine is twisted. Rearrange your equipment so you can face your monitor and keyboard head on. The tendons and nerves that control the fingers run through the wrists. If the wrists are not in a flat neutral position, the tendons can rub as they go to and fro. Damage can occur uh, as a result of poor wrist posture and one or more of the following. Repetition of similar movements, excessive force, lack of recovery breaks, or stress. Use a light keying action. Most people hit the keys three or four times harder than they have to. Take regular breaks to rest your wrists and your hands. Have a space in front of your keyboard to rest your hands on when not keying. If you are a touch typist and are more comfortable with the keyboard at the edge of the desk, keep this position, but rest your hands on your lap when not typing. If you are sitting with both feet on a stable surface, you should experience only moderate pressure on the front of your thighs. If you are sitting too high or too low, you will experience uneven pressure, and this can restrict blood flow and pinch nerves. It can also lead to pins and needles and swelling in the feet. If with your elbows at a good height for using the keyboard, you can feel pressure under the front of your thighs, get a foot rest. Experiment with a box or phone directory to find the best possible height. If you put your feet firmly on the floor with your knees at about right angles and your knees hit the underside of the desk, get your desk raised. The muscles in your eyes work to keep the light entering at a comfortable level. If there are areas of high contrast in your workplace, your muscles have to work very hard to adapt to the changing conditions. Also, a very bright light source in your field of view can cause visual discomfort and reflections on your computer screen can make it difficult to see what is displayed. Try and position your desk so it is at a right angle to a window. If the window is behind you, there will be glare affected in the screen, whilst if the window is beyond your monitor, there will be a bright source of light in your field of view. Also, try and remember that even on an overcast day, natural light is still much brighter than indoor lighting. Use blinds and curtains to shade some of this. Keep the overall lighting in your work, ambient lighting, place up. Recommended levels for office based tasks are between 300 and 500 lux. If the overhead lights are reflected in the screen, turn them off or remove the problem tubes and use different types of lighting to increase the ambient light, for example, uplifters, lights with different diffusers. Use an individual desk lamp if further illumination of any documents is necessary. However, you must make caution not to shine the lights in your eyes nor the lights of your co workers. Thank you for that great insight, and I hope I'll live longer with your great advice. Haha, <laughs> I'm sure you will. Well, make sure you join us in our next series, Smoking in the Workplace, and how it can make your employees easier to work with. Yeah.